So in this video, we need to do expenses that we need to check. Uh, we need to check these expenses. Uh, may, we want to do credit expenses. Uh, where we do expenses on credit, then we'll pay for the expenses later. So we are going to have expenses for painting our trucks. So first, you need to make sure that we have put the expense created in the system. Uh, we can have expenses. Um, invoice. Right. So we need to click on track expense. Then you click on add purchase invoice. So here you enter your supplier for the expense. So let's say it's Nash Paints. We have painted our trucks. So I enter my supplier name. So the supplier was already there in the system. So in this case, you don't need to select accounting dimensions or the track that is going to be painted. We are going to assume that we are going to paint a lot of tracks. We are not going to paint one track. So we can select the track from here. So we come here under item. Uh, maybe they painted our tracks uh, in green color. So I can say green color painting. So green color painting is not in our list. I can click on create item to edit. Then here I can also add green color item group. I can just say any group of my want. Let me just say consumable. Then I can click on add full so that you can see in a full form. Antique here, antique there. Uh, scroll down. Here is where we need. We need to end our general ledger from here. So I can click on add draw. Then I can click on uh, edit here to edit the expense account general ledger expense account that we want uh, to be classifying our expense under so you can click here let's say my expense account is going to be green painting so you see this expense account this general ledger expense is not appearing I can click on create accounts I can come here and create it it's going to be falling under direct expenses so I can click on direct expense and I can click on save so the moment I click on save, I need to click on save again. So the moment I create a new item is going to come here. Uh, so when it comes here, I can scroll down, come to and then come to purchase invoice here. Basically, I, I have to start the invoice again. So I can click on create new invoice here, and then enter my Nash Paints. So it's quite a long process. So I need to enter my supplier name Nash Paints. And then I scroll down here, I go to item. Uh, we say do you want to do what color yeah, paint the coloring? So I click there. Project here, I need to select the track that I'm going to do that, that we need to be painted. So H002. The price that we have been charged, we have been charged 20, 20 dollars for that track. Here again, I need to select another track. So I select green painting is my item. Then under project here, you need to delete that one first that comes by default and put A001 as my track name or project name. Then I enter my rate, I enter $30 is my rate there. Uh, so it's now showing $50 for all these expenses that we've done. You can click on save there. It's now in draft or not saved. You click on submit and click yes. So we have submitted this and it's now in unpaid. A status so do how to do in our next video we are going to do how to make payments for all our creditors or our suppliers